Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're joining us for another review today of the Nike Pegasus 39, the 39th generation of one of the absolute best-selling shoes of all time. And today we're going to give you my completely impartial, unbiased review. Bought this 100% with my money. Right, let's get stuck into this. Let's get this done. Alright guys, great you're joining us here for another review. I'm joined by my helpful assistant Bailey on the sofa here as well. Now we're going to split this up in two various sections that you can move around in the video just by using your mouse below. We're going to start with the facts and figures. We're going to have a quick chat about what has changed between this and the outgoing 38 version. We're going to talk about my likes, my dislikes, and then most importantly, is it going into rotation at the end of the video as well. So stay tuned, let's get stuck into the facts and figures. Right guys, starting out, so I bought this shoe off the Nike official website for £109. Not too bad, that's going to set you around about $130 when it comes out in America, which it is due to do very soon. There's a 10 mil drop in this shoe and it is a neutral shoe as well, so not too much support on the inside. There's no carbon plate in the shoe, it's, it's pretty soft and also in intended use, this is just a day, your daily training mileage road shoe. You could take this on as some light trails if you wanted, pretty good grip on the bottom, but yeah, just a daily training mileage shoe. I'd say the type of cushioning in this shoe is fairly sort of medium cushioning. They have changed the foam in this shoe slightly. It's a slight tweak to it. We'll come on to that um, later on in the review. And also for me, this was very much true to size. I got this in my regular UK size 12 and it fitted absolutely fantastic. Right, let's move on to what's changed between this and the outgo model. Right, let's have a chat about what's changed in this shoe. So the first one is it is much lighter than the version before. They've changed the composition of the foam slightly, still a React foam, but change that slightly and you can really notice that lightness, that difference. Secondly, it's just a general one that Nike says improved fit. And I do say the lockdown is a little bit better in the shoe than the outgoing model. Nice and wide as well. So yeah, I go along with that. It fits nice. The last one fitted nice as well. And then thirdly, Nike have added one of their Zoom Air pods in the back of the shoe and the heel of the shoe to match up with the one already in the front. So a little bit more support there, a little bit more cushioning if you're a heel striker as well. Right, let's move on to the likes. Quickly guys, if you are finding this video useful, please like and share it with a friend who might be looking for a new shoe at the moment. It really helps the channel out. Right, back to the video. So the first one is comfort. This shoe is a super comfortable shoe, both running and walking and in the gym. It is just a cup of shoe. Wherever I'm, whatever I'm doing, it is super comfortable. The, as I said earlier, width really good. If you're a wider footed runner, you're gonna be fine in this shoe. It was true to size, as I said. The new foam is nice and light. With the upper mesh that they have here, it's nice and breathable. I've been using this in some hot conditions. No overheating in the shoe whatsoever. And then finally, all of the padding around the heel area. It's super soft, it's super squishy. No pain or anything on the Achilles. You just get a really nice lockdown fit. No rubbing, no hot spots, no moving around or anything like that. It's just been a super comfortable shoe, whatever I've done with it. The second one I want to talk about is the responsive ride. Now, the tweaks I've made to this foam here, you can really notice the difference between this model and the Outco model. This feels a little bit softer, a little bit more squishy, a little bit more responsive. At the end of the day, it's still React foam. It's not the best on the market, in my opinion, but for the value for money, just over £100 here, it is pretty damn good. When you're running at slow pace, it's not great, sort of a recovery run pace, and at full speed, it's not great as well. But that middle section, it just feels nice and responsive, where a lot of us are gonna do the absolute majority of our training miles, and it just eats those up really well. The grip on the outsole is fantastic as well. And that leads me on to my third point, is durability. I've done around about 50K in this shoe so far. It's showing absolutely no signs of wear whatsoever. Whatsoever. and there's no indication that it will be any different from the outgoing models as well. The uh, sole of the shoe is exactly the same. These stand up to many hundreds of miles and this shoe feels so far like it'll be absolutely no different. So you're gonna get some really good value for money and keep the shoe in your rotation for a long time. Right guys, today's question of the day is, have you run in the Nike Pegasus lineup before? And if you have, what was your favorite version of it? We've now had 39. Yeah, let us know down in the comments, your best version of the Nike Pegasus lineup. Now moving on to the dislikes. Now as I said, 
the composition of the foam has changed and at slower speeds now you can really feel that air pod underneath this shoe just where your forefoot lands. I think it's because the composition of the foam is just a little bit softer and so where your foot lands you can just feel it under your forefoot but this only happens for me at quite slow speeds. As soon as you pick up to my sort of easy pace as such that goes away. It's very much just on a recovery jog sort of walking around a bit. The foam's a little bit soft around that air pod and you can just feel that slight difference there. But as I say, up to speed, it goes away and you don't really notice it at all. And my second dislike, yeah, is that top end speed. If you wanna be, if you want a dedicated race shoe, this really is not gonna be it. For your 5Ks, 10Ks and half marathons, of course you can run those in this shoe, but it doesn't have that all out sort of top speed that you're gonna get from one of Nike's um, sort of higher end models. And I think if you're comparing this to something like the New Balance 1080, that just has a little bit more speed. Yes, it's more expensive, but it just has a wider range of paces that you can run in for an all round shoe. For me, this shoe excels at just that middle ground, that sort of steady pace, up to marathon pace. It will just eat up those long training miles and it does that very well. But yeah, all out top speed is just not really there. And finally, is this going into rotation? Well, yeah, I have enjoyed running this shoe. I'm about to head out for a long run in this shoe today. I like the tweaks I've made with the foam. So long as I'm not running at that very slow recovery pace, this shoe has been a joy to run it. It just, as I say, keep saying, it just soaks up those miles and it's comfortable and you really can't complain about that. But when it all is said and done, I think we really would just love to see some Zoom X in the Pegasus lineup. It will just make it a little bit more responsive, a little bit more fun. The React foam is just now a little bit old and outdated. Hopefully that will come in the next few generations of the shoe and I'll be the first person there to test it and bring you those reviews. So if I could sum this shoe up in one sentence, I'd say it's exceptional value for money. And that around a hundred pound price point, you're gonna get many hundreds of happy miles in this shoe and it's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna not overheat, no hot spots, good width. It's just an all round daily solid shoe. And finally, if you want some alternatives to have a look at, if you wanna spend a little bit more, get a little bit more top end speed, as I say, the new balance 1080, something a bit cheaper than this that's going to offer you a little bit more value. The Reebok Float Ride 4, that will be coming up next. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, I'm off for a long run out in the sunshine here very soon in this shoe. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for the support with the Patreon legends here and the supporters here on YouTube. We couldn't make these videos without you, so thank you so much. Check out the website, the latest and greatest training plans, hats, and merch as well to help you with your running. Keep on working hard and getting it done, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. So, Bailey, what did you think of the Nike Pegasus 39? Or do you just want to go for walkies in the shoe later? Yeah, walkies later. Oh, now you're getting excited. Right, let's go for a walk. <laughs>